CataractCoach.com. The chopper broke during surgery. Now, what's your solution to rescue this case? As you're operating, imagine that the tip of the chopper breaks off, and it could be dangerous inside the eye. So here's the case. Got a resident who's operating. That's why, of course, the eye is not centered. That's a joke. Now, removing the nucleus, that comes pretty nicely, smoothly. Obviously, video sped up here because I want to show you the good part, which is coming up right about here. Look at the chopper. As the surgeon's operating and pulling out of the eye, pow, the chopper tip breaks off in the paracentesis. There it is in the angle. Now, you got the chopper tip broken off in the angle. Yes, ignore those eyelashes that have not been properly draped. I know that's annoying. Um, but what are you going to do? I'd say the first thing is, yeah, viscoelastic is a smart move. I like that idea a lot. You want to kind of encase it in viscoelastic, maybe pull it out of the angle. Fill the caps or bag too with viscoelastic. You don't want just aqueous down there. You don't want a piece to go down, you know, downwards. A sharp chopper tip broken off like that could also puncture the capsule. Remember, posterior capsule is just four microns. So here, that's good. Good viscoelastic use. And then... I'd try to bring it centrally, yeah, but I'd actually bring it centrally with a big wave of viscoelastic. It's probably your best bet to push that piece around, maybe encapsulate it in viscoelastic, and then grab it with some sort of forceps. Now, if you don't have micro forceps, you can certainly just use your capsular excess forceps. Those go through the incision. Again, again, showing you the importance of good draping. You wouldn't have to have your finger there if you had good draping. So here we're going to go in the main incision. Okay, just with another hook or something, bring it out of the angle. Yep, I like that idea too. But again, I'd put a big wave of viscoelastic, kind of push it out of the angle. I think you're better off using viscoelastic here. And so that'll really displace it a lot better. Use a cohesive viscoelastic if you want. That'll really push it out of the way. And then there you go. Caps work this force up. Grab it gently, gently. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done. And then examine the chopper. Make sure the pieces fit back together. To make sure there's not a third little piece somewhere else fractured in the eye, which I don't think there is. But that's a super important thing. This can certainly happen. It's in, why in my instrument trays, I don't use steel instruments anymore. All my instruments, as you've noticed, are titanium, which is stronger than steel. Here comes the lens now. I make sure that capsule bag was filled up. I don't know if there's enough viscoelastic in the bag, but we'll find out. A little bit of bleeding there. Maybe there's a little bit of iris damage. Here comes the lens going in the bag. Looks good. Um, Three-piece lens. Get that dialed in the bag completely. Not sure if that trailing happy went in the bag. I'd lift that iris up to make sure it's under the rexus. Maybe it is. And so now, yeah, probably the next bet is take out the viscoelastic and just see is there still more bleeding at the angle. Maybe even if you want to, before you do that, put up a gonio mirror. Put up a gonio so you can check the angle. You can do that too. Here's removing the viscoelastic. All righty. Hey, while we're doing this, let me tell you about RatinAround.com, our sister channel. We have so much great material there now. It's really growing by leaps and bounds. You really owe it to yourself to check it out. Really great material there, promise. Now, here we go, end of the case. Let's see what you're going to do now. I think the bleeding has subsided. So just seal up the incision. I think you'll be fine. So again, this can happen. Important is to really make sure that you get those pieces. Viscoelastic is your friend here. You can kind of encapsulate and trap that. This has happened before. I have an old video on Cataract Coach where we noted that. So if you look on the Cataract Coach website, there's a video about a broken instrument inside the eye. So it's not unheard of. And chances are it will happen in your career. But then also maybe consider switching over like I've done now to all titanium instruments. And then the blue color of the titanium is just from anodizing it. When you run electricity through it, you can actually change the coloring of the titanium. So you can look that up too. So I like blue because that's my favorite color. He's sealing up the incisions here at the end. Great job. Good rescue. And let's just make sure everything else is okay. I think the bleeding has subsided. Here I'd really be tempered just to quickly put the gonio mirror up just so you can see what's going on. If there was a little bit of iris damage, I probably would not do anything to it. I wouldn't suture it up. It's, you know, too small, but I think it looks fantastic here. So interesting case. If you're a resident case, a resident, send in your cases. Go to cataractcoach.com, the, the link, the website, and then there's a link to how to send it. But please try your best to upload interesting cases like this that feature complications. Complications are our best way of learning. Thanks for watching. And remember, readingarounds.com. I promise you're going to love it.